I'm traveling across the country to meet 15 entrepreneurs in their hometowns competing for a life-changing investment. The person that I'm going to invite back is... I'll choose only six to come to my headquarters in New Jersey, a one-of-a-kind business idea lab called The Basement. I believe any entrepreneur can build a company from the ground up, just like I did. I call this mindset basementality. Are you guys ready? I'll put my top entrepreneurs through a series of challenging assignments. Oh, no! We have a time check. That will test their business acumen, their products. Yeah. Which of our colors looks best to you? And most importantly, their grit. Time is up! In the end, the one who impresses me the most will get a residency in the basement by full support and mentorship, and of course, my investment, up to $1 million, and make their American dream come true. Now that I've traveled all around the US and found my top six entrepreneurs, this is where the real competition begins. But before I bring them down to my basement, I'm secretly testing them. Because pitching your idea to a big time CEO is one thing, but a good entrepreneur is selling their product anywhere to anyone who will listen. So the production team and I have set up 15 hidden cameras, a ton of microphones, and I've disguised my investment banker, Romitha, as a PA whose job is to bring the contestants down to the basement. Romitha is one of the top players in the game, having closed over $100 billion in deals. She remains one of my trusted advisors and closest friends to this day. My finalists have no clue that the first challenge has already started, and I'll be watching and judging their every move. Let's see who's gonna elevate their game and who's going down. I'm Ari Hirsch, and I'm the CEO and founder of InstaSteam. Simply tear it open like this, pour it in, just zip it up. It's definitely better than it was. I'd be extremely excited to work with Ben. He's gonna launch InstaSteam into the next level. Ready, bro? I think I'm ready. Here he comes. Does he look nervous? I mean, how are these people not going to be nervous? Bro, can you open the door, please? We just basically grabbed them out of their homes. They have no idea where they are. She's going to help us out today. She's just going to open the door. We're going to stand here. Our styling today. We're going to check your pants, man. Go ahead, close down there. This is reality TV. I am. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Ari. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. What's your idea? Insta steam. Little pods that steam your clothing. You throw it in your garment bag and zip it up, steams your clothing for you. Oh, really? Yeah. Kenny, he's on point. He knows his product. But he doesn't seem excited about it. He doesn't. I travel a lot with the production crew and, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> your clothes are always uh... Exactly. Unpack your suitcase. You throw the pod in your garment bag, and three minutes later, it steams. I love it. Yeah. What's that idea? Ask me if he used it today. It's looking a little wrinkled. <laughs> did you use it this morning? I did. Because your shirt's a little wrinkled. Yeah. <laughs> I've been sitting in the car for a long time. Oh. <laughs> it's hard with button-down shirts. It's almost impossible. You have to steam it multiple times a day. Let me turn around. Let me just. Do... Yeah. No, it does look like it's a little wrinkled. Yeah. Good luck. Dan, I thought he was good. You know, he doesn't know who's in that elevator. I hear you, but. You're always pitching your brand, whether you're at work or at a bar or a restaurant or talking to strangers. Ari's elevator pitch wasn't bad, but we missed the opportunity to demonstrate how well it worked. Hey, Ro, here's Mike. You're going to love this guy. My product is the wonderful stuffed waffle iron that you can use to cook your favorite foods right inside your waffle. It smells amazing. Me and Ben, we're cut from the same cloth, so I'm excited for what's going to happen next. I have high hopes for him in this elevator. I like his walk. He's walking uh, confidently. Uh, no, no, no. Mike has swag. You nervous? I just want to, I don't want to mess things up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? I am a stuffed waffle maker that allows you to cook your favorite foods inside of it and eat it like a sandwich. So it's kind of like a samosa, like, you know, kind of the same idea. Yes, yeah, okay. so you're cooking around, you're cooking the batter around the already cooked ingredients. Can you put anything in there, like? You can put, well, you chocolate, chicken, fruit, chicken and waffles, fruit, oh, so really? savory, sweet, you know, dessert, breakfast, whatever. How do you not like this guy? He's so engaging. That's what I'm saying. It's like, and he's talking passionately about the as important brand. as their product. Yeah. I do this as a side hustle. And so I'm having to make some hard decisions, me and my family, about, you know, if we want to really scale this business, make it a real business. Mike's confessing to Roe that the business is kind of his side hustle. You ready? 
Good luck. The challenges I'm about to put him through will help me determine whether he's brave enough to fully commit and be worth my investment. Carl. <laughs> you, my friend, are gonna love Carl. I'm the co-founder of Awesome Sauce. We are the first zero waste condiment and sauce company. I'm gonna have you do ketchup. All right, that's good. I'm here to win, I'm here to crush it. Carl's a dude, he's like a guy. <laughs> yeah. guy's game face, huh? You come to a job interview, maybe you lose the hat? I don't know. Yeah. He came like he's ready to go to lacrosse practice after. after. I, I agree, I mean, first impressions mean a lot. Come back in there, I'm gonna make a change. Stay on your mark, stay on your mark. Close the door! Try to test this guy's commitment to his business, really casually, somehow. What do you do? Just walk when he says. Oh, I gotta hear this. Oh, um, no, I'm... Oh, for work? work? Oh, sauce company. Oh, what kind of sauce? All? All sauce. Oh, like, you mean, like, ketchup and mustard kind of sauce? Yeah. Like, where do you sell the sauce? Online. If you, like, need it that day because you're, like, making burgers. You wouldn't buy our sauce. No. <laughs> You'd go to the grocery store and buy. Carl naively just told Ramitha that his product has a flaw. Is he even taking this process seriously? Because that's not the kind of billion dollar entrepreneur that I'm investing in. Are you gonna tell me what the sauce is called? Oh, it's called awesome sauce. That's like powder you mix with water. You make it yourself. Oh. Yeah. Like Kool-Aid, but for sauces? <laughs> Kool-Aid for sauces. That was funny. Kool-Aid for sauce, yeah. We should get a sauce guy like Mr. Kool-Aid. This is like a long elevator ride. Whether he thinks she can help him or not, it's an opportunity for him to hone his pitch. And he's kind of like not even looking at her. Ben, you're 100% right. I think he just wanted to get out of the elevator. <laughs> he didn't engage with her, didn't look her in the eye, didn't seem very enthusiastic so, about it either. No, when you have the audacity to name your product awesome, Everything about you should be next awesome. level. It yeah. just should be next <laughs> level. Yeah, that's a good point. And our awesome sauce guy just kind of laid an egg. I'm feeling like he blew you off a little bit in there. I think he did. Oh, uh, you're going to like her. So this is? This is Jordan. She okay. has a product called Dewey's. My product is Dewey's. Stylish house shoes made from plant-based and recycled materials. I am willing to do what it takes to take this company to the next level. I really connected with her because she has a great family. She's doing it all for the right reasons. Here, you on that tea? I missed my spot. Nervous? A little bit, yeah. What do you do? Uh, I own a house shoe company, reimagining the slipper. It's a lot more stylish. Uh, it's made from plant-based and recycled materials. These aren't them. No. These are my outdoor shoes. Kenny, she's, it's like, it's like you walk it in. Gotta, gotta wear your product. Well, they are house slippers, so she probably wouldn't wear them outside. They're still super cozy, um, but actually provide foot support that traditional house shoes might provide, that lack style. Cool. Yeah. Good luck. If you have a brand with potential, it's all about the entrepreneur. Yeah. So who's, that, who's this guy? This is Poop Stick? This is Poop Stick. His okay. name is James. I invented the Poop Stick, a tool that helps you poop easier. Take care of business, and when you're done, Place it off to the side. Ben will be that catalyst that we are looking for to get the poop stick in everybody's bathroom. You're gonna get pooped on here. There's gonna be a <laughs> lot of poop talk. Uh, okay. If you have 30 seconds to talk about your product, this is one of the more difficult products to get right into. <laughs> I'm job, huh? Pays the bills. What's your product? Poop stick. Helps remove the poop from us. Oh, really? Yeah. Whoa. It's not what you're thinking of. Right oh, really? Yeah. Okay. That sounds a little scary. <laughs> a little scary. It's not. It's not. Non-invasive altogether. So. Non-invasive. <laughs> <laughs> when you say stick, I don't know. It just kind of... If you go to poopstick.com, there's a pretty cool video that will show you. I feel like he kicked her over to the website to do some of the education that he could have done with great personality. And I don't know if he won her over. I agree. I don't think he expressed the value of what he had. That was an interesting one. <laughs> that was an oh, interesting one. Oh, yes, it was. Who's your next contestant here? Oh, this is Nadia. 
I took a pillow and sheet, joined them together to create the most perfect dream union. Oh, there it is. We say we managed to crack the sleep code. Oh, my God. I'm here for a purpose, and I'm here to win. She's come up with the pillow sheet, and uh, I got into bed with her. <laughs> Oh, she's got a game face on. Usually, I'd see a little bit more teeth, some little smile right there. But oh, there's ah, that there smile is. on there cue. Close the door. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> wow, you look like a star. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> I like her. She's got a presence about her. No question. What do you do? Um, well, I created invented pillow sheets. Think about if you made your bed uh -huh. and you got all the pillows that you like to sleep with. By the time you wake up. It's all over the place. So my sheets actually allow them to stay in place and provide you overall comfort from head to toe. Oh. Yes. She's, she's doing good. But I always have like a thousand ideas. Never really know what to do with them. Just start one. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's just true. That's true. So you want to make sure it can make a difference. What kind of problem are you solving? Mm -hmm. And sometimes ideas are just meant to be in the idea box. <laughs> and then you go to the next one to figure out you really want to pull it out. Yeah. But bottom line is that you have to act on it. You have to at least implement something. I mean, we live that, right? Yes, totally. You got to have people that really believe in your mission, mm -hmm. your purpose, your product, your idea, and believe in you. I think she got Romitha rooting for her. I totally agree. Ro, that was amazing. I think we got all six. Why don't you come on down to the basement? These finalists have no clue that they were pitching to a billion dollar closer. And unknowingly, they revealed a lot about themselves to me. The lesson is that you never know who's standing next to you and what opportunities that can lead to.